Good evening, everybody. In high school football district playoff action, Macon will take the long bus ride down south to face Christian. The Tigers have played better the last couple of games, especially in the first half against Centralia. Yeah, we, we showed up and we played well, especially defensively in the first half. You know, we were down six to zero at halftime and, and really had, had the ball inside the five right as time ran out there in the in the half. So had an opportunity to be tied or, or in the lead there at halftime and weren't able to do that. But our, but our kids played hard for the, for the entire night. Ottumwa needs to beat Cedar Rapids Prairie to keep its playoff hopes alive. There are also several other scenarios that would get the Bulldogs in, but Coach Mason doesn't want to watch the scoreboard. We don't need to worry about what happens in Muscatine and City High game. We don't need to worry about how many points, who wins by what. It just doesn't matter. I mean, the only thing that matters for us is, is having more points than they have at the end of the game, and that's really it. Kirksville travels to Hannibal Friday. The Tigers are young, and hopefully this year's experience will lead to better things in the future. You know, you can say based on wins and losses, it hasn't been our best season. But I think if you look at some of the things we've accomplished off the field and and some of the compliments we've gotten from other communities and the things that we're doing within our district, then I think you see some progress that's been made. Milan and Scotland County will meet for the second time this year. Scotland County won the first time. What will the coaches do differently this time around? Well, I think we'll cover the pass a heck of a lot better. I mean, that's how we got down initially, just a little lackadaisical in the secondary. They had some execution. They completed passes, and we got behind the eight ball right away. We're definitely not going to try to overlook them with beating them earlier in the year because they're a different team than, than when we saw them, so it'll be a tough matchup. Knox County will host North Shelby. It's a team they beat by 56 points last week, but the Eagles think they still have room to get better. We talk about every week playing our best week of the year, uh, you know, that, the upcoming week, and that's something we've tried to do every, each and every week, continue to improve, continue to work on things, and um, there's definitely things that we need to work on. We're not a perfect team by any means, and we have a lot to do. Truman State had a great come from behind win over St. Francis Saturday, thanks to its offense that finally found its stride. Our offense has shown steady improvement each week in their execution. As simple and as elementary as that sounds, you've got to execute uh, running, blocking, throwing, catching, running after you catch, etc. The Bulldogs' Andy Satula has been named the GLVC Offensive Player of the Week. He rushed for 174 yards and two touchdowns in the big win over St. Francis.